Adversity can be a precious gift from God. And that's the way he intends for it to turn out. A precious gift from God. Anything that turns me around from the wrong direction. Anything that takes my hands out of where they should not be. Anything that guides my step in the right way. Anything that changes my mind and my thinking and thinking about God is always good. If you've never trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior, I can tell you, you're not going to make it. You may say, well, I have so much money, you can lose it. But if you're saved by the grace of God, you can't lose that. You can't lose your salvation. The more you focus on your difficulty, your hardship, or even your pain when you're suffering, the more you focus on it, what happens? The bigger it gets. Well, I've, you know, I've, I've been going through this, and I've been going through that. And if your friends listen to you and say, oh, I'm so sorry, I feel so sorry for you, the more pity they give you, the bigger it gets, and the bigger it gets, the more you doubt God. And so the issue is focus. And I think, when I think of focus, I think of many instances in the Bible, but one of the primary ones is Daniel in the lion's den. And so uh, the Bible says he slept with the lions all night. If he'd have been focused on lions, he wouldn't have been sleeping. He'd have been <laughs> over in the corner somewhere, all crouching down, hoping that they wouldn't see him. So oftentimes people, they're believing God and trusting God and thanking God. He's answered their prayer about other things. And now they're asking about something else and God's silent. Watch this. God is only silent when he's up to something fantastic. So it's, it's not that he's forgotten. It's not that he wasn't listening. It's just that he doesn't do it when we think he ought to do it. And if he doesn't match my schedule, then I think he doesn't love me. He doesn't care. I do this for him. I do that for him and all the rest. No, God hadn't changed. Watch this. He knows exactly when you and I need what we need. And he knows the best way to provide it. Because disappointments can come and they're unavoidable, you can get covered with discouragement in a moment, but you don't have to accept it. Remember, disappointments are unavoidable. Discouragement is a choice. I refuse to be discouraged. On what basis? On the basis that God loves me. He's a good God. He's all-powerful. He's with me. He's going to see me through it, and He promises to never leave me. Charles Stanley once took a punch to the face for his church, the longtime pastor and opt praised preacher who died on Tuesday at age 94 had to lead in his Southern Baptist congregation, earning him a reputation for faithful obstacles a commitment to following God's will and a life of prayer. He frequently repeated his life motto, which he learned from his grandfather, obey God and leave all the consequences to him. That kind of obedience wouldn't come without cost, Stanley said, but God rewards stubborn faith. Granddad told me, Charles, if God tells you to run your head through a brick wall, you head the wall, he wrote in his 2016 memoir, and when you get there, God will make a hole for, you, for it. Stanley was the pastor at the First Baptist Church at Atlanta for 51 years. He started at minister in 1969 when the mega church had 5,000 members and remained in the pulpit until 2020 when it had about 15,000 members. He also preached daily on the radio and television through In Touch Ministries, which he founded in 1972 and was widely regarded as one of the best preachers of his generation, along with Charles Swindle and Billy Graham. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.